Watching big bad movie villains hack their way through an endless victim list has become part and parcel of the horror experience. And with so many movies populating the subgenre, there are plenty of contenders for what could be the best slasher movie death of all time in an almost impossibly wide field. Almost. Now, fan favourites and subjective opinion will of course always reign supreme in this type of list, so please join in and share your picks in the comments section below so we can rack up the best dishonourable mentions. For now though, we're going to go right on ahead and take a wild stab at the creme de la bloody creme of the best deaths from across the years in the broadest sense possible. Stick your Mac on, it's gonna get messy. I am the knife idiot Ash from What Culture, and these are the 10 best slasher movie kills. 10. Factory Showdown, Child's Play 2. Chucky's pint sized terrorizing of all things human is a beloved part of the canon, with his hot murder streak containing all the best imaginings of what a doll can do when inhabited by the soul of a serial killer. Whilst the whole airbag full of nails thing definitely stands as one of his most gnarly kills, it is actually the death of Chucky himself that seems the most worthy of mention. Set in the good guy doll factory, we get to see a poor worker swing by who has had his eyeballs gouged out and replaced with googly eyes, before an injured Chucky manages to drag himself over to Andy with the intent of cutting his legs off. Of course. As Chucky gets his arm stuck on a wild knife swing, Andy manages to turn a vat of molten plastic onto the doll, melting him and turning him into a steaming heap of what looks like liquefied chicken nuggets. Resilient as Chucky is, he doesn't quite die until Kyle sticks an air pipe in his mouth and explodes him in a dramatic splash of plastic and guts. Well, that is a hell of a way to go out, and a hell of a way to start this list. 9. Cat Flap Scream Wes Craven's meta-horror masterpiece has aged fantastically well, all things considered. Poking fun at the horror genre that still loves to play to its own conventions even now, Scream delivers some delicious deaths, some piping hot commentary, and a gripping murder mystery throughout its runtime. Of course, Ghostface gets creative with his knife continuously in this seminal slasher. But no death is quite so memorable as Tatum's as she attempts to avoid the pointy end of Woodsboro's resident Halloween-themed menace. Whilst going to grab some beers from the garage, Tatum is followed by Ghostface and chased around the room, who she tries to escape by going through a cat flap. As cat flaps are designed for, primarily at least, cats, Tatum does not fit through said flap. And unluckily for her, it is located in the retracting garage entrance, meaning Ghostface pulls it up, crushes the trap Tatum, and leaves her dead and dangling as he runs off to rejoin the party. It is a whole new type of beer fear, this one. 8. Jaw Riff Hatchet As the modern iteration of a slasher, Hatchet brings together all of the gory goodness of Days Gone and gives it a fresh lick of blood red paint, incorporating some devastating kills into a narrative that sees a bunch of students hunted down in a cursed by you by a deformed monster. Victor Crowley is super strong, super scary, and supernatural, intent on killing the bunch of dumb yous that have wandered into his land in the most insane ways possible. With the death of Shannon standing out as one of the most holy sh of them all. Cleverly edited to look like one long take, Crowley runs after Shannon and grabs her by the head, pulling her jaws apart like wet tissue paper as he separates the top of her skull from the rest of her body. It is quick and disgusting, and aptly demonstrates Crowley's ungodly power as a swamp-dwelling monstrosity that only gets more crazy as the film's series plays out. In any case, it is a death worth celebrating. As horrible as that sounds, but look at the list we're in here. 7. Meat Hook – The Texas Chainsaw Massacre One of the earlier examples of a slasher movie, and one of the most harrowing in its execution, the dusty, bleak vision of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre stays true to its title, killing off a group of teenagers that stumble across Leatherface's land and provoke the ire of his chainsaw. Whilst Kirk's bashing with a hammer is one of the more subdued kills of the franchise, the follow-up of Pam's murder when she goes looking for her boyfriend more than makes up for some disturbing content since she is grabbed, kidnapped, and chucked up onto a meat hook to watch as her lover is cut into bite-sized chunks underneath her. Jesus. This isn't even her actual death in the film either, just to make the whole thing much, much worse, since she is later discovered in the freezer. 
Unable to be saved, poor Pam is left for dead as all of her friends are killed off by Sally. And she isn't coming back anytime soon if she knows what's good for her. Essentially, Pam is left behind and presumed to have been made into a burger at Casa del Leatherface by his freakish cannibalistic family. If there is a more brutal death than being meat hooked, frozen, and then abandoned and probably cooked, perhaps we don't want to see it. 6. Boiled Alive Halloween 2 of course, there is no getting away from the slasher genre without a healthy nod to Michael Myers. And whilst his kills are a lot more straight to the point, get it, because I've stunned many of his peers, he still deserves mention for a spine-chilling death that crops up in Halloween 2. Spine-chilling might feel like somewhat of a redundant term, considering we're about to get to talking about a woman being boiled alive, but still, the sentiment remains the same. Creeping up on a hard-working nurse who is just about ready to take a well-deserved bath, or something like that anyway, the looming presence of Michael is mistaken by Karen as her sexy hot tub pal Bud. Kissing his hand before turning around to see the rubbery face monster in place of a hot date, Michael then proceeds to dunk her like a humble rich tea biscuit into the scalding water. And much in the same way as the biscuit would in the dire situation, her face sloughs off. And she dies. And it's horrible. 5. Vanity Mirror Leprechaun 3 now, considering the Leprechaun series, there was a toss-up between this scene and the death by bong stabbing that happens in the sixth movie. But Loretta's juicy doubles won out in the end. Anywhere else, death by ass might not seem like that cruel of a fate. But in this case, it certainly wasn't one you'd be wishing for anytime soon. Coming into the possession of one of the Leprechaun's magical coins, Loretta decides to use it to get the body of a 20-year-old back, instantly admiring her looks in a mirror since she is very happy with her work. But my oh my, does spending this coin come with a price, as the Leprechaun then finds her and punishes her vanity with ever-expanding assets. Loretta's ass, chest, and lips swell up until the woman explodes, resulting in one of the most blackly humorous and inventive deaths of the self-aware franchise. The bar is very low with the Leprechaun, yes, but this kill certainly retains a dark charm about it that deserves some recognition. 4. Mr. Freeze – Jason X Space really is the final frontier, it would seem. Or at least for those that think it is a good idea to package up Jason Voorhees and take him out into the stratosphere for some intergalactic slashing. What sounds like an incredibly bad idea on paper becomes an even worse one on screen then, since as Jason X brings the hockey mask clad villain back to life to wreak havoc on a space station crew that intended to profit off of his frozen remains. Thawing out from cryogenic stasis as student Adrienne prepares to dissect his body, Jason returns to his full glory to enact some Mr. Freeze-level shenanigans by dipping her face in liquid nitrogen. As expected, this is very bad, but becomes much worse when Jason smashes her frozen face to smithereens off the counter to reveal nothing but a bloody pulp left behind. Jason X might be a joke of a horror movie, but it knows exactly what sort of self-aware dumb fun it is delivering with this ludicrous early death. 3. Unicorns are real – Black Christmas Christmas horror movies have some of the most ridiculous deaths out there, riding the wave of their batched subversive premise and making their scares as hammy as possible along the way because why the hell not? From Krampus's Jack in the Box swallowing family members whole to a Christmas horror story zombie elves, holiday horror can be some of the strangest and funniest. So when it gets a touch more serious, it is all the more unnerving. Silent Night, Deadly Night, and Black Christmas feel like the best examples of that, with the former having the unforgettable antler mounting scene, and the latter making carol singers all the more unbearable by incorporating them into a grisly death. As Barb lies in bed sleeping, the killer creeps into a room and offs her with a glass unicorn statue. All the while, children sing downstairs in an eerie juxtaposition with the mysterious murderer's unsettling whispers. The cross between Christmas cheer and genuinely disturbing violence is one that is masterfully executed, and even more impressive for remaining scary whilst being played absolutely straight. 2. Deathbed – A Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger has some of the most iconic kills in the horror genre. It is unsurprising, really, considering he has the power of dreams at his disposal to make some seriously twisted fantasies come to life. But quite how ridiculous his deadly antics get is still terrifying even almost 40 years later. From turning into what would be by any other name a Teletubby and driving Jennifer's head through his iteration of a sentient TV screen, to dosing up a drug addict with his own needle-fingered concoction, there is plenty to choose from in his back catalogue of pain. 
However, there can only be one. And the first movie is still the gold standard for his gross slasher goodness. Most memorable is Johnny Depp's murder as he falls asleep in his bedroom, sinking into his mattress only to be chewed up and spat back out again as pulpy raspberry smoothie. The sheer amount of blood that flies out of his literal deathbed is both spine-chilling and creepily impressive in equal measure, making it a moment that is not easily forgotten in the vast Nightmare on Elm Street canon. 1. Raft the burning. Coming as an uh, unwelcome surprise to a group of happy campers rowing their way across a lake, the raft scene of the burning is one of the more rudimentary slasher showdowns that has made its way to screen but still stands as one of the most iconic pieces of deadly cinema there is. As the burned and spurned slasher villain Cropsy emerges from a lone canoe on the river, five teens, and the audience as well, get the shock of their life as he starts going at them with a pair of garden shears. That's hardly careful for a caretaker, eh? Cutting off fingers, slicing open airways, stabbing, splashing, and generally ruining the campus afternoon in particularly gruesome fashion, the raft scene of the burning is infamous, with the iconic shears in the sky shot making it to the cover art of the film for good reason. If Friday the 13th and Sleepaway Camp hadn't already confirmed that summer camps are an inherently bad thing, then the burning will definitely do it for you. And that's our list. What are your favourite slasher movie kills? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below as this makes this all the more fun. I've been Ash and this has been What Culture. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and please come back again. Please, please, we've got more content. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to see you. It'd be nice. Thanks for watching.